It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the Samrocks superstar running back. He was steady for him on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. It's the Sam Rocks and the Black Knights, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Now from the birthplace of the game itself, EA Sports, so proud to join you from the Hall of Fame city of Canton, Ohio. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Dublin Shamrocks taking on the Black Knights of Canton. Along with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon here. And Charles, we take a look at this Canton team as they get ready down on the field. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for the visiting Dubliners, they too were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be let out by their 6'3 quarterback. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. Throwing to start the drive. Colbert. And incomplete to open things up. Landry, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. But you look at this defense. Well, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. And what I saw on film was nearly an unstoppable pass run. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense up the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. The first carry now. This is Johnson. For Johnson, the numbers for his performance from last week, 24 carries, 119 yards. And the way they ran the ball last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. Second and five. His throw is going to be incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Out of the gun now on third down. And it is caught. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they've worked on that in practice more than we know. 
and most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with, and there's completion right there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. He's got Mason complete. So the completion good for seven there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Now they'll throw here out of the gun toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because Covered was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense, and they were there to help force the incompletion. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Black Knights will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football. And that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And they are right at the 500 mark on the year and got there with a victory a week ago. And I think right now I put myself in the shoes of the head coach and say, all right, time to reset a little bit. And I don't give my team a win one for the Gipper speech. I do say, look, we haven't played our best football yet, but we are at 500 and we're still in it. Let's try and string a few of these victories together and we're capable of doing so. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Landry. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. These are his numbers from last week's contest. A boatload of carries, 104 yards, and a score as well. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their role out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. To throw on third down, Colbert. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over-game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. A 41-yard punt there with no return. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Delay of game. So offense moving a little too slow there, could not get set, and they get the penalty. Still first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. They'll set up a throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And what a big time play there. 53 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they put field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They'll drop the throw. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups. One yard. Now second and nine from the 10. They're going to look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And third and eight now. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Against a team coming off a win, just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Dublin's offense now set to take over. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Play action. Colbert. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. From the 33, here's second and six. Up the middle they go. Landry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Second and a couple. Now a give, right side, Landry, and this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Knights his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Second and seven. the play fake. Colbert looking left side and he's got a man. That's Klein. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. Third and seven now. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week. Plenty of hurries given up. 
So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback up right. And following the play here, now we've got an injury. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. And on now is the punter, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw here. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. When you look at this defense, and this unit very tough to throw against, currently second best in the NFL. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is good. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Well, competition comes up in so many different ways. And right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. And taken at the 46. Ten nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed, because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes, if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. Off play action, Colbert. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, the incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Pressure comes and down he goes. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The Canton offense takes over once again. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. He gets it left side to Johnson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. On play action, they'll throw. He finds his man complete. That's Weaver. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. Dublin's offense now set to take over. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game now. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. 
The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Back to throw. Colbert. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Second and ten. Throwing again. Colbert. Looking left side. That's caught by Landry. And down he goes at the 49. A three-yard pickup. Boy, that was certainly well run defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackled for just a short game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And this ball will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to Will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. The Canton offense takes over once again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now. And this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know. Is a blind squirrel finding a nut, <laughs> or is it something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line, and they're putting it to good use. And they'll send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at the 43. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They'll try the left side. Landry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw. Colbert. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Partner, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation. But instead, they fooled them a little bit with the screen, and they wound up getting back what they lost and then a little bit more. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. Down. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. On first down, Colbert. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Awesome. 
And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now a handoff up the middle. Landry down to the 30 after a gain of three. Third down, Colbert. Ah, oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. And the 10-year back knocks it to the goalpost, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. So a good job there to kind of weather the storm in that first quarter and come back with their first points of the ball game. Yeah, you hate to be coming from behind early on, but you're exactly right. They took some time, able to move the ball, and now it's back to a 10-3 game. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Canton offense takes over once again. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a quick throw here that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Up the middle, Johnson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and ten at the 33-yard line. Again, it's Johnson. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And this offense on third down today, they've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. He'll look to throw. to the left sideline and incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half, and now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And it's fielded at the 34. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Can't get away and he's taken down. No gain on the play. It's third and ten. Off 
the play fake. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Dublin's offense now set to take over. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. The throw over the middle, taken in. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down, Colbert. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Now a second and six. Again, he'll drop to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Fair to say it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not get a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber will drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. And they'll get him down inside the 30 up to 27. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now a nice throw here right side. He holds it in. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. He'll drop to throw. In trouble and he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. They'll look to throw here. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. This time they stay on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. 15 seconds, all that remains for this first half as they come up first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. 
to throw on second down. Colbert, and he will find his man on the end route, complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. On first and ten, Colbert. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. A final shot before break, Colbert. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the halftime break behind us, and we are back underway with a third quarter of action. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. On first down, Colbert. Under pressure, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. They, I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense. And right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun, Colbert. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. That's number four. Sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. 
So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Taken right around the 44. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. The first down carry here for Johnson. Now hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 44 now, here's second and four. They go to Johnson again. And good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. 11 yards there, first down. They'll give up the middle to Johnson. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the door gets tough in here. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. Here's third and nine. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. to six. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second down now, Landry. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, Landry. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 73 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They'll keep it on the ground. Landry. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. Yeah, he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Up the middle they go. Landry. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw. 
Colbert. And this is going to be incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though, and you can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. No, they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So first and ten now from the 30. Chalk at a 45. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now a handoff. Johnson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They'll look to throw. Screenplay, Johnson. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Canton, Ohio. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead a handoff up the middle. 
Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Operating from the gun, Colbert. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. The last series for a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Ball at the 33, second and nine. They'll set up a throw. He finds his man complete. That's Neal. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Out of the gun now on third down. To the sideline and incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Landry. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Third and eight. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Now, the two points, that's not totally critical at this point. Still a one-score game, but they do have to give away the football with no guarantees they're going to get it back. Yeah, or at least if they get it back, will they have any time to do anything with it? So they've got to send their defense out there and say, guys, we got to have it right now. Save some time for us. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Fielded at about the 28. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. 
Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. It's Moss. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Throw left side, complete to Moss. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run it with Johnson. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. The quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Johnson, touchdown! Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And now their hill to climb has gotten taller. They had the safety last time they had the football. That led to the touchdown a moment ago. So that deficit going in the wrong direction as they try to right the ship here, first and 10. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Operating from the gun, Colbert. And that one too high and incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try to rise up and overcome it. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, 
it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means after one extra plays, harder to move it. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. First down, Chevron. They'll look to throw again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make the play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. A well, fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time. And that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 52 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Throwing on first down, Colbert. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away.
And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? Dublin's offense now set to take over. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Pressure comes and down he goes. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Looking to throw on second down. Colbert. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. As this one moves towards its conclusion, another incomplete pass there. Thoughts on the secondary? I mean, they seem to be pretty effective in this one. Yeah, I thought that they've been absolutely outstanding. I mean, their job is to prevent touchdowns, and not a single touchdown is going on the board against them. Of course, they want to make it a total shutout, but hey, if you don't give up touchdowns, you got a heck of a chance to win. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened and knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for Canton, they remain one of the hottest teams out there as the win moves them to 6-1. and one, And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Dubliners, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.